right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Steam ROM Manager, and better yet, how to set up the MU deck. So that's the end game there, is just to be able to launch your ROMs directly from the Steam UI. Follow me now to the MU deck website and dismiss the cookies. If you download this into the folder like I have, you might be inclined to just skip the instructions and just, just launch it directly. In which case, like me, you'll be very confused as to why you just have this folder here. So, referring back to the instructions, it says that we have to put this on the desktop. The path must be relative to the desktop. So, go ahead, copy or move this over to the desktop. Run it and give it permission to run. You should see the percentage on the left-hand side. And it shouldn't take this long. I've been waiting for a couple of minutes here, so if it hangs like it's hanging for me, go ahead and just close the script and launch it again. You can see the percentage on the left-hand side there. And this time we're going to go ahead and click Easy Mode. I don't want to do anything fancy. I think previously I tried Custom Mode and it, it just didn't do it, so I'm just trying to get it to work. I'm not also going to change anything here. We're just trying to get it to work. I hit Internal Storage. Got plenty of space on the Internal Storage. And eventually this bar will say Installation Complete, and we will launch the Steam ROM Manager. If you're using the Steam Link to capture the Steam's <laughs> display you're going to lose your display without pop-ups there to inform you that you're going to lose your your nice steam inputs so now we're going to set up the steam rom manager we're going to go back into your file explorer and in the, within the home folder open up emulation within a new tab like i have up here and i'm just going to go to the existing folders where i have gamecube and copy it into this Game Boy advanced folder this is the destination on the right and then here's my ROMs on the left. I got a bunch of game, Game Boy Advance here. We're just going to copy this into the emulation ROMs folder, apply to all, write in two. I'm just going to merge those two folders real quick. And then now going back, this is how I ran it the first time. I didn't want it to download all 700 SNES games that I have into the Steam, Steam UI. So I'm just going to turn on Game Boy Advance there. Now I'm going to hit Preview. And we're going to generate app list, that little green button on the bottom left there. It's good to do this because, like you'll see with my example here, I've got a couple copies of Fire Red from doing some ROM hacks. I need to clean up my folder a little bit, so I'll go in there and delete those duplicates. And it didn't recognize Ruby, Sapphire, and I have Pokemon Glazed spelled entirely wrong. So I'm just going to go back over here into my folders, fix that, and delete a couple things. And then I'll go back into Preview, and then remove the app lists. We didn't save it before. If you are going to save it, make sure you didn't reopen Steam because your Steam link closed. So I hit Generate there, regenerate the list. I still don't have Glazed spelt correctly, but off screen I did go ahead and close this, renamed it, <laughs> removed the list, generated it again, saved it again. So I got that squared away. But after doing that, you'll see this new category on the left-hand side here. Super nice, because now we didn't have to use the Steam Grid database to, to scrape these. They're just already set up. And not only are they set up there, but it, it grabs all the artwork. It gets the, the big grid, too, so saves a bunch of time. Now, this next part, what we're going to do is basically the same setup, but for a more involved emulator, something a little bit more complicated than a Game Boy Advanced or a SNES. I'm going to copy over a GameCube, maybe a Melee. And we'll also go into my Wii and copy over Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Grab the Brawl. And I didn't notice it until now, but it reset my Dolphin configuration. So hopefully you didn't have anything crazy in here. Within the General tab, set your Vulcan to the driver. I cranked it to 2x. And then didn't change anything else. Within the game itself, I do have some AR codes just so I don't have to unlock all the characters. Double checking that it it didn't wipe out all my stuff, so those must be safe somewhere else. But it did reset my controllers, so go back into your controllers. If you don't want a Wii and a GameCube controller, they're both turned on for some reason. But otherwise, Dolphin still does work. It does have that in the paths. We didn't copy the game to the right folder. So we'll turn on the Dolphin parser. Didn't change anything here. We've dropped it into the folder that it's already looking for. I'm going to turn off Game Boy Advance just because I don't want to scrape that one again right now. And we'll double check that that worked, and it did. So we'll add the toggle for Dolphin GameCube, scrape it again, and save it. Then I will close it, and bada boom, just like that. Sorry to go fast, people don't have a large attention span, and I keep telling you guys to subscribe, and nobody does.
<laughs> Hashtag not bitter. See you guys in the next one.